I received a very nice email from a subscriber asking about meditation and how quieting the mind and these practices might help live a musical life more deeply. So I'm taking some of what I wrote in response and offering it here to you as harmonic mechanism number 26. And I hope maybe some of these words are something that you've been wanting to hear from someone. And I offer them here to you now. I'll read uh, some of my response. Having a mind that is quiet and disidentified with notions of self allows for a certain kind of inner listening, whereby music just seems to flow if one has given enough time and attention to practicing the instrument and studying improvisation. My goal has always been more or less composition and improvisation, so one needs to know the fingerboard very deeply, where things are, what they're called. One needs to have a good working recognition of intervals and what they represent, what they might mean in a composition or in your own writing or playing. One needs to know a little bit of theory, and you can add to this all the time with sustained dedication and perseverance and work, just a little bit at a time. There's so much available on YouTube as far as theory instruction goes. Take it slow. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to me anytime. In speaking of meditation, a very subtle and overlooked aspect is that lessening the amount of self-oriented thought or self-identification with the products of the ego is to be kept right in sight. So as opposed to questions of what or how being important, the fundamental question in life is who. When we say, I think this, or I want this, who is the I that speaks or wants? If we can still this voice of I, then we might find something beyond time and space and is therefore eternal. It's quiet, it's resting in your heart always. It's there to be uncovered if you can quiet the discursiveness that skates on top of the mind and keeps it busy all the time. If we're trying to make room for hearing and for music, having a discursive and busy mind is not a help. This then gets close to what I feel is the purpose of life and also that music should serve that purpose as well. And it is to lead us to the recognition that we've all been given a world in which we can grow and learn, cultivate and share the highest aspects of human life. I guess that can be summed up as love. As I reflect on this topic and attempt to distill what might be of most benefit to anyone interested in this path of a quiet heart, one essential point came through, which I hope you will take to heart and integrate throughout your life. Humility. Humility will help you lessen identification with the whims, wants, and promptings of the ego self. Humility will help you to recognize, understand, and root out your own arrogance and boastful pride. Humility will instill and strengthen the precious inner silence of your heart. In that silence, we might find our true calling and lasting inspiration. Humility encourages us to be open to learning, growing, and finding something new. In humility, we allow gratitude to flourish. Gratitude is both the fuel and the engine which most efficiently animates our life. If we wish to build lofty structures, our foundation must be solid, and humility is that foundation.